Hello and welcome to jQuery for Designers. My name is Remy Sharp and in this episode I'm going to show you how to add keyboard uh, navigation support to an existing bit of code. So um, Matthew White, um, hopefully I'm not butchering your name there, he got in touch with me and he had uh, his portfolio website where um, he has his icons and uh, a coder slider which rotates round and shows you all of the icons he has uh, in his portfolio. He wanted to add keyboard support where the user could press on the left and right uh, keyboard cursors to move the panels left and right. The problem was that he's using um, an existing uh, coder slider library that doesn't have any support for hooking into uh, sliding left or right. Now, if it were me, I could go into the code and actually modify the library and add keyboard support. Um, I could rewrite it from scratch if I wanted to and give it back to him and get him to rewrite uh, his, ho his whole uh, portfolio website to be able to use this new bit of code. But really, we want something very simple. Um, you don't want to go in and actually modify an existing library because if you make a change and um, that library gets upgraded, it means you have to repatch your, your change back in. So what we're looking for is a solution that works completely separately from the, the library but adds keyboard support um, to this, this slider, the slider basically. So I've replicated the effect um, here using um, similar code but just my own photos and uh, it means I can um, try and add in the keyboard support. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to capture uh, the keyboard event on the entire window. So if I press the left or right um, uh, cursor key, we would need to capture that. The second thing we need to do is look at which link is currently selected and go forward or backwards depending on which one selected. So say uh, three selected, when a key, the, the, the cursor key is pressed, if the left cursor key is pressed, we need to find this link and then we need to go and click on this one. So create a fake click which moves the slider back. Okay, so if we pop up Firebug and just quickly have a look at these links here, if we look at the three link, you can see the anchor has a class of current. Now this is generated navigation from, um, I think it's Niall Doherty's uh, coder slider. So it's generated uh, navigation, it's just been styled using CSS, but it has this link here that has current whereas the one to the left doesn't have current. So we need to jump in, find the, the anchor that has a current class, and go backwards or forwards, depending uh, on which key was pressed. Okay. So the first task is to capture the key press. So here's, um, here's the code that I replicated from, uh, from uh, his website, and he literally just has this bit of JavaScript. So Let's leave the plugin alone, and we're going to add in some code to capture key presses. Now, originally, I wanted to say if there was a key press on the body element. So, there's there's three um, keyboard events. You've got key down, key press, and key up. I want to capture on key up. So when the user has finished pressing the key, we want to do something. So on key up, let's do something. The first thing I'm going to do is capture um, the event variable, and this is always passed into any of the uh, the jQuery um, event handlers such as click or um, uh, mouse move and so on. So key up, and inside of this variable is the key that was pressed, but it's represented in, it as a number. So I'm going to do console.log event, and then key that uh, key code. I mean, to start off with, I just do console.log event. And if um, if we look at the console, hopefully you would see uh, uh, the event. All right. So the first problem here is I'm pressing the keys on the keyboard, but nothing's actually happening. That's because I've got it on the body, and I've not got the 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 browser's not focused on the body for some reason. So if I change it from body to window, which is the top level um, um, element basically, or the top top level uh, top yeah top level element. Now when I kept press a key, you can see something happening. So there I was pre uh, pressing on the keyboard. So I'm now going to press the left cursor key, and you can see this um, event object. If I just 
make this a little bit bigger. These are all the properties that are inside of that event object. And what I'm looking for is the uh, the key that was pressed. This is the one that we're after, 37. So we want key code, dot key code. Now if we rerun that, open up the console, press left and now right, I can see the left key is 37 and the right cursor key is 39. Those are the only two keys I want to capture and do anything with. So we're going to say if um, event dot key code equals 37, this is left key, else if event dot key code equals 39, right key, and otherwise we don't do anything. So this is um, go to the, uh, the 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 previous link, and this is go to the next link. So let's just put a, a little console log. Uh, go left, go right. So I'm just going to press the left left cursor key, and now I press the right one. Press up and down, nothing happens, and the browser does what it's supposed to do when I press up and down. Now what I need to do is um, find the, uh, the the active link and um, and try and click this previous one. So if three is active, when I go left, I need to hit this link here. But to start off with, we need to grab this active link. So let's go to the HTML. We know that we want a dot current, and that sits inside of this div that has an ID. So the div has an idea of code and nav one, and we want a current. So the active link inside of the key up is um, so code and nav one, and an a dot current. Let's just drop this out into the uh, the console log active. Let's keep it focused on one so it doesn't scroll around. So when I press the left key, it gives me the active. Let's uh, change it to four. Okay, so it's now got the, the correct link. What I then need to do is um, grab that link and go up to this three. Now, the way that I do that is go up through the DOM tree into the LI then go to the previous element, which is this li, and then go to the anchor below and then trigger the click. So let's uh, let's move this into the if condition. So I need to go up from the active link to the li, so I use dot parent. Then I need to go to the previous li element, which is prev and then I need to find this anchor and click on it. So do find a dot click. Okay, so we're just doing the go left, not bothering with the go right yet. So let's refresh that. Click on three, and I'm gonna go left. So I'm pressing the key go left, and when it gets right to the beginning, it's not doing anything. Let's go back to five and just uh, do key left. Left, left, left. And you can see this number's changing. And when I get to the first one, if I clear the log and hit left, nothing happens, which is correct. That's what we want to do. The reason nothing happens is we grab this anchor, we go to the parent li, and when we do prev, it doesn't hit anything. Therefore, it doesn't actually click on the next link. Or rather, there's no link to be clicked. There's no previous li element. So jQuery just carries on, but doesn't actually do anything. Doesn't throw any errors, which is correct. So let's add that into um, the the right uh, slide right. So I've literally copied and pasted it, and all I need to change is prev to next, because when one is active, we have we we target this link here. We go to the parent element. We go to the next li, 
and we go down to the anchor. And now we've we've literally just gone from this link up to the LI to the next LI and down back to this link and we trigger a click. So let's save this code, refresh it. And I'm now pressing the right key. And I press the left key. And there we have keyboard navigation without modifying uh, any of the existing code. This means that if the um, if this coder slider is upgraded later on, we don't have to modify our code. If the structure of the markup changes, we may have to change uh, this, the, the way that we find the previous and next link. But beyond that, we, we've just added keyboard support into our plugin without actually modifying it. So I'll get rid of these uh, console.logs and that's all the code. So I'm I'm just uh, the code is being added in directly after the um, plugin is being run. Um, we don't want it to run before well we can run it beforehand in fact, but um, I th think that the navigation is actually generated by the coder slider. So that's why I'm running it directly afterwards. It happens inside of the document ready because we want it to run when the document is ready, um, and that's it. And we can take this code one step further and just be um, uh, a little more succinct with our code, but this is basically all you need. So this would be a good point if you are happy with the, the way the code reads and and how you would use the code. Personally, I would take this this code a little, one step further because these two lines are very similar. So I add a variable called direction, make it null to start off with, and instead of this line of code, I would have direction equals prev and direction equals next and these are the um, uh, the function names that I want to call here so I'm going to use direction in place of next or prev I get rid of this line and I say if direction is not equal to null i.e. it's been set then coder slider find the current anchor go up to the parent and then instead of calling next here I pass in direction using this uh, square bracket uh, syntax find anchor and click and I'm pressing the left and right keys now and it still works and it means that there's less duplication of code um, this is a this is because we can uh, access these these methods as properties but this is more of a, a, a coders approach to to solving this uh, this problem um, but if you're perfectly happy with just having uh, this code replicated here uh, just as dot next and prev I'd say stick with that if it's if it's readable to you and it's usable then um, stick with what works for you so um, that's how to add simple um, keyboard navigation to an existing plugin and if you have any comments or feedbacks or suggestions or different ways of doing this uh, please drop a comment on uh, jQueryForDesigns.com, and uh, hopefully we can we can see your demos and um, uh, and look at how cool you can do your 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 extra navigation. Okay, thanks for.